as we have already entered the data in the table. Now let's start with the select statement which is the part of your data query language that is DQL. So basically using the select statement you can retrieve the data from a table and whichever data we will get in the output we will call it the result set. So basically by the time we'll start writing the select statement after select we will specify the columns which I want to retrieve. Either I will go for all the columns or for some of the columns available in a table. So I will have to name those columns. But those columns must be existing inside a table. And here using from clause I can specify the data source that is in this particular case it will be a table. And when you will use the select and from clause it will show you the particular columns along with all the records available in the table. But if you want to filter the row that for example you may want a particular record or some of the records to be there in the output. Maybe I just want to retrieve a particular department's employee. Maybe I just want to go for the employees earning more than 50,000. So in such scenarios you can go for the where clause which will do the filtering of all the records. So let's get started practically with the select statement and see how we can use it. So as in our previous videos, we have created four tables. In the beginning, we'll start with a single table itself. And for that, I have chosen this employees table. This employees table has eight columns. That is employee ID, first name, last name, email ID, mobile number, gender, date of joining, and the department. This is the department ID as the department names are existing in another table called TBL underscore departments. So if I want to start querying for this particular data, what I can do is right here in the top, you'll be getting new query or you can simply say control plus N as a shortcut key. And as soon as you will do that, you will get this editor where you can start writing a basic query. So for writing that, what I can do is first of all we will begin with the select statement as we just discussed. So for doing that, what we'll have to do, we'll use the select keyword. Alright, and right after that we have to use one more uh, keyword that is from. That is in from we will mention the data source. Make sure that you have chosen the current database on which your table is existing. Otherwise, you can choose it from this list, from this given list, or you can also use the use keyword along with the database name like use master. If I will execute that, you see database is set to master. Similarly, I want to go for my DB and for doing that, obviously I will get this my DB here. All right. So now once you have chosen the database, what you can do, you can start accessing a table. And right now I want to take the TBL employees. All right. So select from employees. But what do I want to select from this table? That means which columns I want to select. So we will begin with this asterisk symbol. That means I want to select all the columns from this table. So as soon as I will execute that, you will see in the output I got all the eight columns which were existing out there in the table as well. Apart from that, right now in my table there are 20 records which you can see here cl clearly like 20 records are there in the output. We will see how we can filter these column, uh, these rows and columns later but this is how you can write a very basic query. This query will return you the complete table data which is existing actually in this table. Now. If rather than doing this, you want to go for some particular columns like you don't want to access all the data from here, you can do that as well. As for example, what you can do, you can just pass the column names. It is not case sensitive, but make sure you are writing the correct names like EMP ID, first name, uh, date of joining, that's the column name, all right along with the mobile number. So now if I will execute this much, I will get the 20 records but only these four columns. So 
you can actually filter the columns like that which we call the projection so you can apply this projection concept like this in your simple SQL statements I can also customize the output in some ways like if I want to concatenate the first name and last name but I will show all those things later for now next thing is if I want to search for some particular records alright for example I want to go for some particular employee by name or by their ID or by their mobile number if I want to filter the rows for that I will have to use one more clause or keyword I should say that is the where so in the where clause what you can do is you can specify any particular column let's take an example like first name is equal to Tom since Tom is a string alright it is a where kind of thing so I need to put the single quotation and inside this I will write Tom so that means where first name is equal to Tom so I can easily search that particular record as you can see I can get that similarly if you want to search the data from the employee ID basis you can do that as well like 115 employee ID and employee ID is numeric is integer type when we created that table we specified the integer data type for this particular column so when I will execute that I will get the data for the employee ID 115 similarly we do have some more operators right here in order to make the searching but uh, we'll do all those things later but for now this is how you can start writing a basic SQL statement in order to retrieve the data